All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we have a video showing a very cool product from Armasite. Um, they were kind enough to send out their Sidekick 320 Thermal Monocular to check out. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think about it. I've had it for just about a month, a month now. I uh, got to use it on a couple exercises, and yeah, it's a very cool unit, so let's get right into it. All right, so like I just said, um, I've had this for about a month now, and overall, I've thoroughly enjoyed this, this device. Uh, it's extremely compact, which is really nice for sticking it in like a GP pouch or anywhere on your kit or in a bag or anything like that. Um, obviously, it does record video and takes photos, as you guys are seeing. A couple of the key features I really like about it, as you've just seen, the three buttons on it. It's super easy to use, does have a little lens cover. Um, you'll see USB-C for the data transferring, and a uh, CR123 is how this thing runs. It does ship with a extender, which we will see further into this video. Uh, so you can run two CR123s. That's gonna bump up your runtime to five and a half hours. Um, the single CR123, that's going to be an hour and a half runtime. Totally, totally usable. Uh, keeping CR123s on you is not a big deal. So this thing is helmet mountable, or you can use it as a standalone monocular, um, which is what I opted to do. Not that I didn't like the helmet mount. Um, I think it's where it would really shine is if you had the Raven uh, modular bridge mount. That is... I think the best way to run it, that way you can be flipping that up while keeping your night vision down. And just like you're seeing right now, uh, like, just like your standard PVS-14, it does come with a pretty nice bag. Uh, I do like that this is smaller than a standard PVS-14 bag, which I get. Those came with a skull crusher and all that, but they get a little excessive. So this right here, this is the mount that, as of right now, ships with it if you buy one of these. Um, you get this mount for free. And this is actually a really cool... Uh, mounting system for the most part um, you can see we have a uh, spin dial right there that dial has a button in the center so if you untwist it like I haven't done yet um, but you unthread it a little bit right there push that in and that thing slides right on there thread it on just a little bit and it's going to catch the way that the mount is there's a, a groove in the center it mounts just like that so picture that stick that on your helmet you do have the button on the side to Flip it up. I'm a little bit out of frame there, but you can see that's fully flipped up right there. And you can also, it has like a mid stop too. So you can have it just like that. So it's pretty, very versatile mount with a ton of adjustment. Um, definitely, definitely suitable for everyone. Left eye, right eye, doesn't really matter. So comes off super easy as well. And yeah. So next up, we're gonna compare it right here to my my standard just PVS fourteen, just mil spec, mil spec housing. Um, you can see the sidekick is is much smaller. Uh, like I said in the beginning, very very easy to throw this in like a GP pouch or something similar to that. Um, it's no different than if you were carrying your your night vision on you. So overall, the configuration I ran it in is just the standalone monocular. Um, I think it's a great small observation device. Uh, it's not an extreme long range thermal optic. It's not what it's meant to be. It's meant to be a small thermal monocular basically. Um, and it does a fantastic job at that as you can see. Uh, it does have a auto refreshing feature. That's what you're seeing. You see that countdown and right there how it just refreshed. I left that on. You can turn that off, but I left it on because I wanted the video to be as good as it could be. That way I could be showing uh, the essentially the best video I could. Um, but totally you can turn that off if that bothers you. So to go along with the video and photo capturing and the USB-C interface, you can see at the top here, we do have a compass. That's, that's actually really nice to have on there. Um, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. But another thing I really enjoy are the multiple palettes, the color palettes. Uh, you can see right here, it's in black hot. There is a, right off to the left, there's a little bunny we can see, not yet. But 
when it turns a little bit. You'll see it. Uh, I typically run it in white hot. Right there, you can see. But I typically run it in white hot. My eye picks that up pretty well. That's why a lot of the video in the woods and stuff you see is all white hot. It just works for me. But there are other options. Uh, so we'll use my dog right here as an, as an example. We got the white hot, um, which is my preferred. That's like my go-to. But to go with the white hot, we also have the rainbow, which that one to me, I'm not the biggest fan of, but I'm sure it has its application. Uh, obviously, for varying temperatures, you can see that better. And then we have the target. That's going to show you like the hot spots. So you can see face, ear, paw, that kind of thing. Um, another one makes sense, but for what I'm using the monocular for, doesn't really make sense for me to use it. Then we have the sepia, which is kind of like a, uh, it's like you turn the brightness down, basically, on the white hot, in my opinion, at least. Um, but looks good to me, uh, just not my, my go-to. So if we swing over to Armasite um, and check out the sidekick, we can see right now uh, you're looking at $2,300 for this unit, um, which... There, there, it's a lot. There's a lot of capability for that price. Um, we can also see the different specs on it right here. You can see right there all the contents included and all that. Um, there is also a bigger brother to this, the Sidekick 640. I believe that's going to give you a little bit more how do I want to set a little, a little bit more power, I guess we would say. Um, obviously, coming in at a higher cost, but that's kind of the, the game we play right now with thermal. Um, do I think this device is going to replace your night vision device? No, I do not. But I think it is a tool to work hand-in-hand -hand with it. Like I had mentioned earlier, if you're going to be helmet mounting this, I highly recommend using something like the Raven Group mount. Um, that to me is the only way that it really makes sense. Um, but if you're looking for a solid monocular that you can also throw on a helmet mount if you wanted to, um, just having that versatility is what makes this a very nice device. Um, and overall, I just I think it's a great a great device, honestly. Uh, like I said earlier, it's not a long range. You're not going to be looking at things a thousand yards away. Um, but for short distance, not even short distance, but a few hundred yards, something you can keep in a pouch, this thing is uh, its a go, in my opinion. And with the current trends and things like that going on, a lot, a lot more people are picking up night vision and thermal. So I definitely think looking into the Armasite line of thermals is a, that would be a wise choice in my opinion. So hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah, thanks to Armasite for sending it out. Very cool device. Uh, I do have tons and tons of videos, just a bunch of them. So keep an eye on the socials. Uh, as always, it will be linked down below. Again, big thank you to Armasite and uh, yeah main thing is just go outside, have fun, and do your thing, guys.